Everyone wants to look good, feel better, and have more energy. And that's where these guys come in, dark leafy greens. Nutritionists call them the superheroes of the vegetable world. They say they are packed with vitamins A, C, and K, as well as iron, calcium, and fiber. And because of all of that nutritional appeal, what started out more as a comfort food has found acceptance amongst the masses as of late. But yet few of us quite know what to do with them when we see them in the store. Unless, of course, you're in Ventura at the 71 Palm Restaurant. That's where you couldn't find a bigger fan of dark leafy greens than Chef Poitier. Okay, we got a baby bug show you. Beautiful, nice and pretty. We're gonna do the shah right now. The red and the green. Just direct from the farm. Et voila. It's like a whirlwind in the kitchen with this chef as he makes cooking with greens actually look easy. Take for example this dish. He adds noodles and a little white wine reduction with some sweet pea greens and then finishes with sesame seeds and presto! An easy and simple dish that any of us could do. Oh, I love to play around that, you know, create some dish by themselves, just a vegetable, or incorporate in, in a gratin or with some fish and chicken. So give a variety of a fresh vegetable direct from, our, from the gardens, from the Oxnard field, Ventura field, and to the restaurant, to the plate, to the customer. So what's his tip to finding so many ways to cook with greens? Well, his main secret to success lies with his friends and neighbors, Roy Nishimuri and Jan Burke, who run San Miguel Produce and have almost every green you could imagine at their farm in nearby Oxnard, which in turn provides the chef with a lot of great ideas. Here we have the baby bok choy in a soy ginger sauce, fabulous. And here we have a capellini with a sweet pea. Besides selling to local chefs, San Miguel Produce is actually behind one of the most innovative products in the leafy greens market for consumers these days, bagged cooking greens. Launched in 1996, it was the first packaged form of cooking greens in the United States. The idea all goes back to the 1970s when Roy and his two partners were in the vegetable and lettuce business and saw the trend in the bagged salad market and wondered if there wasn't something else they could grow to distinguish themselves from the pack. After the, looking at some of the research that there might be a market for this. So in 1995 um, was when we sort of to tra started to transition more over the ground to dedicate it towards these leafy greens, the collards, mustard, turnips, kales. Now, which was, uh, now we're up to about 17 different varieties, including organics. We're out here in a collard field. Uh, we grow collards year round here in California. Uh, it happens to be one of our biggest commodities for uh, cooking greens. Uh, the crew out here today is hand harvesting the various products. What they do is they pull the outer leaves off, they bunch them, uh, trim them, put them in the boxes, and we sell these to various grocery stores across the country. Yeah, the leaves look really good, quality looks good. In addition to those collard greens, which have a cabbage broccoli-like flavor, some of their best sellers are a curly mustard, which is spicy and vibrant, and a rainbow chard, which has a delicate taste similar to spinach. It takes about 35 to 40 days to grow a crop of greens, and then harvest crews move in and are able to get three to four harvests a year out of the plants. From there, they travel to the production plant where they are triple washed and cleaned and then put through what amounts to a huge salad spinner. Look at that thing. And then they're bagged up and shipped out for us to enjoy at home. When consumers get the product at the stores, obviously they want it to last fresher as well. So if we at our end, as farmers do our job, we can get the product to the grocery stores in the best possible shape. The consumers buy the product, they can take it home, put it in the refrigerator, and hopefully they will consume it quickly. And that's what, you know, the beauty of it. So sometimes we don't know where our vegetable come from, from somewhere in America, you know, and so we know it's from direct, from, 
few miles away here, so that's why it's nice. Today, the farm is the number one selling brand of cooking greens in the nation, selling to local chefs like Chef Poitier, as well as shipping across the country to stores like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods for the home cook to devour. But no matter how big they get, the vision here remains the same, to provide folks with an easy solution for adding nutritious and delicious greens to their diet. You know, I have to say, going green never tasted so good. And the rewards, because it's, there's nothing better than know that you're doing something good for people than helping to feed people, which is very special.